All right, so I wanna just make a quick video talking about the gimbal on the DJI Phantom 4 Pro. So I just did my maiden flight. You can check that video out if you wanna see the maiden flight. It uh, actually flies beautifully. Um, everything was great except that the camera, when it pointed down, so like straight down, I was getting a message saying gimbal overload. I actually took a screenshot while I was flying it and that was the message that it was giving me. It said gimbal motor overloaded and I was at 400 feet and the camera was not responsive so that was not terribly fun. So I brought it down safely and after that went inside and looked up uh, what the problem could be and there were actually a ton of videos talking about different problems that the Phantom 4 and the Phantom 4 Pro have with their gimbal like going up and down and up and down and not 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 just staying straight or just like pointing straight down and none of them were talking about this problem that I was having um, where I was getting this motor overload so right now I'm going to recreate the motor overload not with the props on just moving the camera and show you what the problem is if you're having this maybe this is your issue too and then I think I have a solution that will stop this from happening so we got the remote controller on there we're gonna turn the drone on the camera will do its normal thing and uh, you might have seen it get stuck but it is able to sometimes get free so basically the issue is the camera's getting stuck all right so now I'm gonna pan the camera down with this button which is what makes the camera pan as you can see there so we're starting this is all the way up now we're going to start going down if you listen closely you can actually hear it kind of struggling right in this area um, and that's that's what was causing the motor overload. So while I was flying, I could not tell what the problem was, but once I got down, I could actually feel. And if you look at this ribbon, I'm gonna show you this once and then turn it off and show you a little more closely. It's getting caught in the lower right corner right there on that ribbon, which is what I believe is causing this motor overload. All right, so if you think you have this issue, uh, you can actually feel that when it gets right here, I'm gonna tip this on its side so we can get a better look. So right here, where the camera goes down, um, that is a very tight uh, space right there and I can feel when I move it up and down that it's, it's hitting on something. So that's what's causing this um, overload to happen because when I was panning down, um, it kinda just got stuck there and I was not able to um, break free from that. It's not a huge obstruction, so it was able to uh, adjust itself, but um, if it gets caught in the right spot, it's it's not going to be able to move up and down. So that means you're not going to be able to change where the camera is when you fly back to where you started. Here's an even better view. Yeah, exactly right there. Can you see how it's, it's getting caught on this ribbon here? And it is so close. Um, to not being a problem, it's it's less than a millimeter, and it's, it's just getting caught there and stuck. That's what the problem is. All right, so we definitely don't want to damage this ribbon whatsoever, but there is like a little bit of glue or plastic on the edge that I'm gonna try to kind of just scrape off with this tiny screwdriver. It's so small, but it's just that little bit of plastic or whatever that's on there that's causing the camera to malfunction during the flight. At least on mine, the uh, ribbon is not in the way, which is lucky. It's just this glue here that's um, in the way. Already I can tell it's um, going much smoother in there. There's actually no, um, no hitting anymore. Just this little bit of glue. All right, so I can't get it to catch anymore, no matter uh, what way it is positioned here. We're gonna turn this back on and see if that Solve the problem.